What's cracking, yo? It's your Uncle 790 Spiritual Savage here to um, bring a channeled word. Like, share, follow, hit that notification bell so you know when I post a video. Yo, Healing to Express just gave a bad motherfucking sermon this morning. Thank you, sis. I appreciated it. Encouragement. Encouragement. Uh, things to look forward to. Yeah, expecting blessings and manifestations. Confirmation. It was hidden. Thank you again. I appreciate the word. All right, y'all. Let's give praise to the Most High God, my dad, uh, for blessing us with this moment to commune with the divine at any given time. And let's also uh, give him praise for the signs and synchronicities of life, which is what we're going to be talking about this reading for for four signs and synchronicities, spirit guides, guardian angels, and pay attention. Okay. So, the angel number four for four uh, tells you that your connection with angels and the angelic realm is powerful. Um, and that you can trust the guidance that you uh, that is being given to you. The number 444 also is a sign of love and wholeness. It represents your deep love for something or someone. That's what it is. So we're going to pull some cards on today. Like, share, follow, hit that notification bell. So you know, uh, dang, y'all. <laughs> so, so that you know when I post a video. Uh, what's up, baby? What's up, kiddo? I love you. All right. And thank you, uh, new subscribers, current subscribers, and OGs, y'all. Y'all the Jedi's. Confirmation. Confirmation. All right. Also, too, uh, thank you for my spirit guides and my spirit teams and my guardian angels as well, as well as my ancestors and ascended masters and the Anunnaki for giving me that good uh, RH negative blood. People want to covet so damn much. You can't have it. You can't have it. You can't have Nettie. Not now. Not never. Okay. All right. Let's do it. We're going to return to sender 10 times fold, guided with love and light, things that do not belong to the collective in me, so mo to be, so mo to be, so mo to be, and so it is. We're also going to ask that all evil eyes go blind and all ear hustling demons go deaf for a brief moment, okay? So how's everybody's grand rising, grand motherfucking rising, and how is your uh, ascension going this morning? It's 9.56 on August 27, 2023. I am in the city of Minneapolis, so I'm Central Standard Time, all right? Comment down below and let me know how your, uh, your rising is going. Let me know where you're at. All right. Let's get it. All right. So, matter of fact, I was going to start off with a love oracle card. I'm going to start off with a little bit of love today. Love is in need. The star seed anthem. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Okay. Can I get a love oracle card spirit? I got to find my trays. I got one packed up. Though. I don't know. Boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. So you're moving past. Closure issues is how I'm taking this. Receiving what you need. Um, God, that's that spirit coming through. Progression. Progress is being made. Something is arriving to help you move forward and to move on. So I say I say. All right, let's do it. So bottom of the deck is the hangman in the reverse so somebody's no longer stuck and stagnant that's how we're going to pick up on the energy this reading let me get a card please got the queen of pentacles in reverse the queen of cups in the reverse the four cups on the bottom I just heard play stupid games win stupid prizes so somebody's up to old tricks and it's making them miserable. This can represent uh, ideas, a, a spark of a new idea. Somebody who's very fertile, uh, creative, but births, births new life. Really, that's what it comes down to. Um, but it's in the reverse. So somebody's, I just, I just heard old womb tomb is barren. Uh, that's probably a creative a womb is now dried up. I just heard somebody's miserable. Could be a water sign that's miserable, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or have an heavily aspect in your chart, or just somebody that's in their bag at the moment. Can we get some more energy on this, please? This one wants to come out. What is it? Page of Cups. Uh, this is a uh, this is some type of communication of a uh, new life, a new beginning, maybe. New life, though. 
Yeah. Maybe that's what they're expecting. Somebody didn't go with them. Definitely I'm picking up heavy water sign though. Cancer? Somebody's a cancer? Mm-mm. Something's not being, this new life, whatever life that they were, uh, the idea that they had for this new life is not going to be shared with them. The, div the divine, or not even the divine, this is, and in this way it's the sharing somebody's giving to somebody. So somebody is not giving you something or has taken it away, this new life that you were looking for. Pay attention to the signs, people. Signs and synchronicities. Yeah, because you was a damn fool. Or they didn't want to take a risk. There was an uncalculated, they didn't want to take a risk. Yeah, they were trying to, they, yeah, mm-hmm. They went, they went within, they used, they, they used their discernment and decided not to go, not to take the risk. That's what I heard. Yikes. Give me another card, please. Ba -da, ba -da, da -da -da. You're in the Nine of Swords. The snack that smiles back. Goldfish. Maybe so. Definitely talking about a water sign. <laughs> Shit. All right, Nine of Swords, you're in the Nine of Swords. Why are you in the Nine of Swords? I, do we even need to ask, though? Yeah, because you're not going to where you thought it was going to be. A better kind of calmer waters. You're not you're not selling off into the ocean of possibilities, I just heard. Damn. And you're still miserable. I just shuffled these cards, y'all. Y'all seen that? I got room in my right ear. didn't go within now it's time for you to go within or maybe you're alone right now maybe you're alone isolating yourself because you're in the nine of swords you're maybe depressed about something uh, you was lying about something you did something underhanded and lied Swords, hermit. Nine of Swords, Hermit. Nine of Swords, Hermit. Nine of Swords, Hermit. You need to walk away from some type of uh, partnership. If somebody's walking away from a partnership or, or, or a relationship, All right, somebody, uh, somebody walked away from a love offer, a love relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Somebody didn't share a love offer for a new life. You were expecting that. They, they, it's unrequited love, so now you're pissed off. You're in your bag about it. And, 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 and rightfully so. I mean, not my feelings, they're yours. We can't control the energy, but we can control how we feel about it, people. That's what I heard. A weeks ago, I think, is when I posted that. Yeah, somebody's walking away. The color red could be significant. Now, see, this card is always very kind of makes me think. Upon first look, it's like Adam and Eve and the snake, and they're all scared of the snake. But it's the angel that they're. I'm, I'm, I can't take it. I, I, that's the, what I'm being drawn to believe. So maybe you're a fake. You pretended to be an earth angel. Even the snake said, that ain't no damn angel. Girl, that is not an angel, girl. <laughs> Shit. Anyway, the snake even says, the serpent, the devil said, that ain't no damn angel, girl. Now move. Shut up, little Richard. Shit. But anyway, somebody threw the apple at the, at the angel. I'm pretty sure that uh, it hit the angel in the head or she, she swerved, used her wings. Red Bull gives you wings. Somebody likes to drink Red Bull. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck again. Yeah, you tried to get over in a High Priestess. <coughs> Excuse me, or a High Priest. I just like to say High Priestess because it's an energy. It's not gender specific, really. It's just not. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups. What about the Ace of Cups? Because 
maybe this person walked away to go find their Ace of Cups. It did land on the Eight of Cups. Mm, that card wanted to come out. How you do it? All right. Now, whoever walked away from the unrequited love offer to go find the Ace of Cups is a King of Cups. Spiritual birth, but confirmation. I got abs down there, y'all. You know this. But the King of Cups is going to offer a love offer. Let's get some more information about that. Like, share, follow, hit that notification bell, please. Share the video. Y'all, this damn cat getting on my nerd of deal, Doug. Trip. Oh, yeah. He is bad as fuck. And Carmen, like, you know, cats don't communicate with meowing. That's a, that's a myth. Well, they, they only meow to humans. This is, that's how they communicate with humans. Cats uh, <clears throat> use their third eye. They, they, they telepathically communicate. And so she tells him to do stuff and he doesn't. I wonder if he got him some or something. She may got him pussycat whipped. He's a king of pentacles too. He's paid. Pizzed. He could have he could work in law enforcement. He could be like a secret agent or like a spy or something. Not a spy, but he holds a high ranking position somewhere. Give me a home where the buffaloes roam and the deer and the antelope. Play. There's an antelope back there. I don't know what that means. Maybe we'll look it up. Maybe they live in a foreign country. Antelopes are native to Africa, I think. What's well, not native to Africa? Let's just say it. It's good out there. <clears throat> it's coming in fast. These could be represent uh, passionate messages too. Text messaging, emails. This could represent uh, snail mail, like uh, FedEx, UPS, DHS. To reach a star. Left some type of wound. This you could represent internal conflict. Uh, somebody's healed from internal conflict. The star could be an Aquarius. You could actually be a star. You could be very connected to your guardian angels, earth angels, um, your guardian angels, and your ascended masters. Pay attention to the signs, people. Your guardian angels are leading you. Your spirit guides are leading you towards what's yours. Let me get one more, please. Could it be an outcome of this? Uh oh. <clears throat> Y'all check out my boy the spiritual hooper. He be dropping them gems too. He just got a notification from him. Somebody's dreading today. That's he's a spirit guy of mine. He's on my spirit team. So somebody's dreading something today. Well, I guess that answers the question. The, the, the three ugly wicked bitches, the mean girls. <clears throat> Tell us more about these mean bitches. Probably be français. Is that really a cuss word though? They about to be falling out of position, baby. That's what I just heard. Falling out of position. Falling out of position. This reminds me of a uh, an award ceremony. The records in the back. They didn't win this year's Grammy. Or whatever alkalate, alkalate, alkaline. Maybe somebody needs to increase their alkaline. You know, incorporate alkaline more into your diet. I know that I do. Uh, a good way to do that, though, or what I've learned is just getting some lemons and. Um, Put them in water. I got blueberries at the bottom. That's the truth, Ruth. A hard truth is what I just heard. It hurts. Like visceral truth about them not winning. Or them who them, these three bitches lost. They've been losing is what I just heard. They just didn't know they were losing is what I just heard. Give me another one, please. They lost because they were being manipulative. They could be a Gemini or a Virgo in there somewhere. I'd hate to hear that because I'm a Gemini or Virgo, more Virgo than Gemini really. But I hate to hear that, especially going into Virgo season. But you get what you get. You get what you give. Pay attention to the signs, people. 444, 144 on the clock as I said that. How you do it? Pay attention to the signs. 
somebody didn't pay attention to the signs, or they did, or they tried to manipulate the signs and synchronicities. How about that is what I just heard. Because they went into a bad partnership. Y'all better stay away from these ugly, wicked bitches and these stinking breath warlocks. Bitch, come back again against the Empress. But now you're, the, the, you're lost. See the Empress? I wish she would close her legs. That gives the that gets kind of she got some strong ass legs like that. Snap a nigga's neck. Okay. What movie? A War of the Roses. Yeah, Kathleen Turner and shit. But this one came up against this one again. She keeps doing it. I'm being told to grab another card, a deck of cards. So we're just gonna ask for one card for the outcome of this. Let's ask, let's ask Lenormo. As a matter of fact, I just, you know, I got these cards a long time ago and I just hadn't used them and I actually opened them up yesterday. The Gypsy Witch deck. Let's get an outcome for this Queen of Wands that keeps coming for the Empress. And, the, and mind you, the Empress is ain't trying to fight with nobody. She got strong ass legs. She said, girl, I'm gonna use my thigh master. Hello, I'm staying in my lane and I wish you would stay in yours. But this one's like, mm -mm. nah, bitch, I do not like you and I don't know why other than the fact that I'm jealous of you, you're pretty, and, uh, and uh, Divine Masculine is interested in you. And the Emperor said, I don't even know Divine Masculine. Yes, you do, bitch. No, I don't. Bitch, yes, you do. I seen him watching you. That doesn't mean he knows me. That's exactly what it means. And then we're about to find out what happened. Like, share, follow, hit that notification bell. Number 23, the Queen of Hearts. Off with her head, I just heard. There's a ring there. The ring. When to the right of a person is in unerring indiction. Oh, is an unerring indiction of a rich and happy marriage but lying to the left disappointment in love well i'm gonna show you how the card landed hold on because this is to the right all right yeah that's right no that's not the way the way yeah it felt like this so it's to the right it's to the, to the, it looks it looks left but it's not okay it's to the right of the end Yeah, to the right of the Empress, to the left of the Queen of Wands. So again, somebody lost. And this time they lost. They thought they, if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. But they chose not to put a ring on it. They walked away from that. This is what I'm picking up on. Pay attention to the signs, people. To the right of the Empress, to the left of the Queen of Wands. And I think that concludes this reading. Like, share, follow, hit that notification bell. Okay, people? I love you. And I do. And you guys know this. You got to know this. You know, I can't wait till one day I have a big ass barbecue, soul tribe barbecue. Um, and I guess we can do the electric slide and the uh, cha cha, whatever the fuck that shit is. I don't know. We need a new dance because I'm tired of doing that at black gatherings. I do it. So I'm down, always down for a soul train line. No, getting it. Getting it going down. All right. Just popping that neck. All right, y'all. Thank you for joining me. I'm your Uncle 790 Spiritual Savage. Like, share, follow, hit that notification bell so you know when I post a video, all right? I um, think about some, this about sums it up. Let's thank the Most High God again for blessings and welcoming manifestations. We said that yesterday. And remember, this is a safe place for you to discuss whatever it is you need to discuss. So comment down below in the videos and we can get a conversation going. It doesn't matter what the conversation is about because we can all get some understanding so that we can understand and understand so that everybody else can get what we're talking about. You feel me? All right, it's your, it's your Uncle 79, this is Spiritual Savage. Dropping another gem. Like, share, follow, hit that notification bell. Baby, I love you. Kiddo, I love you too. And Queen of Wands, girl, it's gonna be okay. Stab my energy. Okay. Deuces.